What's up guys, around here Fuga Tech, and Realme just launched the Realme C3 in the Philippines. It is the successor of last year's C2. It packs a larger screen, triple cameras, and a Helio G70 chipset. But the question is, is it worth the upgrade? C3 comes in two colors, namely blazing red, which is what we have, and frozen blue. The striking red color is a sure head turner. Not only that, but the rear also has a wavy, rigid texture to it that gives the device a ray-like pattern when hit by light. As it is a budget smartphone, the C3 has a body constructed with plastic. Despite the material, it feels quite robust in the hand. Up front, the C3 has a sizable display, what Realme calls a mini drop notch, that houses the front camera. The side bezels are quite slim, while the chin is rather thick. At the rear, situated on the top left corner is C3's camera module, which houses triple camera lens setup. The C3 also has a circular fingerprint scanner located on the top center of the device, just a few spaces next to the camera module. Sitting on the right side of the device is the power button, meanwhile located on the left is the volume rocker and the dual nano SIM tray with a dedicated micro SD card slot. People who are familiar with having all the buttons on one side would have to get used to the C3's button on the opposite sides. The C3 doesn't have anything on the top and at the bottom you'll find the 3.5mm audio jack, microphone, and the micro USB port. For display, the C3 sports a 6.5 inch HD plus display. The color reproduction is pretty good and quite vibrant. The C3 also has a rather bright panel as we were able to use it at around 60% under direct sunlight. Audio-wise, at maximum volume, the sound is enough to fill the room. However, it comes out slightly distorted and tinny. The lows are also pretty non-existent, so we recommend using earphones instead. For cameras, the Realme C3 is equipped with triple camera setup. It consists of 12 megapixel main, 2 megapixel depth, and 2 megapixel macro lens. While residing in the mini drop notch is a 5 megapixel AI beauty selfie front-facing camera. Photos taken by the rear camera looks decent under ample lighting. They have good amount of detail, and sharpness is present as well, making them usable in social media posting. The colors appear to be muted though. In less favorable lighting conditions, the photo produced looks blurry and have an amount of noise present in them. Additionally, the C3 doesn't have a nightscape feature and so shots taken in low light conditions and nighttime will appear muddy and have a lot of noise. When it comes to selfies, the 5 megapixel camera produced a rather average one. Some noise is present and some images look blurry as well. Color reproduction is somewhat inaccurate too. Under beauty mode, the skin looks smooth but has a slightly flat touch to them. In portrait mode, subject background separation is rather terrible as the edges of the subject appear harsh. And even with the option to set the blur level, the subject tends to look flat against the background. Video-wise, the C3 can shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Colors appear slightly dark even when shooting in daylight and some details seem to be muddy. There's also a very little stabilization so we recommend using a tripod or a monopod. For software, the Realme C3 runs on the Realme UI version 1.0, based on Color OS 7 and Android 10. The brand recently introduced their user interface and the C3 is the first device that sports the Realme UI out of the box. Out of C3's 32GB of storage, about 24GB of it is usable. For performance, under the hood, the C3 is armed with a MediaTek Helio G70 chipset. It is paired with a Mali G52 GPU and a 3GB of RAM. We run the device through a couple of benchmarks and the result will be flashing on screen right now. The device has no problem handling basic tasks such as web and social media browsing and the like. But do take caution when running multiple apps in the background though as it may lag. We also tried playing graphically intensive games such as Asphalt 9 and there are noticeable frame drops and lags, especially when set at the highest graphic setting. The C3 has a feature called Game Space that optimizes the device during gaming. When playing games using this feature and in the competitive mode, the games appeared to run much smoother and had a little to no frame drops. For biometrics, the C3 comes with a rear fingerprint scanner and face unlock. They both work 
quite well and have a pretty good response time. For battery, we subjected the C3 5000 mAh battery through our video loop test. 50% brightness, 50% volume, airplane mode turned on, earphones plugged in, and the C3 totaled 26 hours in 19 minutes. The C3 also has 10 watt charging support and has a reverse charging feature. It took us about 2 hours to charge the Realme C3 from 0 to 100. Now for conclusion, the Realme C3 looks to be a decent upgrade from the C2. It's got a sizable and bright display, a rather new entry level gaming chipset, a decent battery life, and a pretty nice interface. Users might be disappointed in the lack of Nightscape and the device's micro USB port. Still for a price tag of 5,990, the C3 is an impressive, competent smartphone. It's worth considering whether you're switching from C2 or just looking for a dependable entry-level device. So yeah, what do you guys think about the Realme C3? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Aurel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.